Welcome to Lesson 3 of MySci Unit 23, Our Place in the Universe. In Lesson 3, students will answer the question, how does Earth's motion cause day, night, and the seasons? Students will develop and use a model to explain how the Earth-Sun relationship causes day and night and the year. They will figure out that the Earth's counterclockwise rotation on its axis causes patterns of day and night. The Earth's counterclockwise revolution around the Sun causes yearly seasonal patterns. In the Engage portion of this lesson, students will discuss models and how they can be used to understand the processes of the Earth and Sun. Students will also watch a video of day and night on Earth from the perspective of space and consider what patterns they observe and what is causing these patterns to occur. Students can also consider how the phenomena they just observed compares to the unit phenomena that looks at the difference in daylight during different seasons. In the Explore portion of this lesson, students will develop a model of day and night using a balloon and their bodies. Use a globe to model along with the students. Hang the balloon in the center of the room to model the sun. Students will form a circle around it. Tell students that their heads represent Earth in this model, their nose representing the city in which they live. Ask students what the observer in their city is experiencing if they are facing the sun. Students should recognize they are experiencing day. Next, have students rotate counterclockwise so the observer in their city is facing away from the sun. Students should recognize the observer would experience night in this position. Allow students to repeat this pattern a number of times. Next, introduce the vocabulary. This movement is called rotation and the Earth rotates once on its axis every 24 hours. Further explore this idea by having students model how the Earth's counterclockwise rotation causes the sun to appear to rise in the east and set in the west. In the explain portion of this lesson, students will be introduced to a second vocabulary term, revolution. Revolution is the orbiting of a celestial object completely around another object. For example, the Earth revolves around the sun. Have students move in a counterclockwise fashion around the sun and consider if the rotation of Earth on its axis takes more or less time than the revolution of Earth around the sun. Next, students will obtain information about Earth's rotation and revolution from a video. As a formative assessment, call out directions such as day, night, sunrise, sunset, rotate, revolve, and orbit, and observe students model these processes. In the elaborate portion of this lesson, students will develop another Sun-Earth model. They will be divided into groups and provided with a flashlight, styrofoam ball, and a skewer. Students will place the skewer, which represents Earth's axis, through the styrofoam ball, which represents Earth. Next, students will watch a video in order to help them consider how they might use these materials to model patterns we notice on Earth. Allow students time to brainstorm with these materials. Next, students should take turns using the materials to model patterns on Earth, including day and night, a year, sunrise, and sunset. Following the modeling activity, have a class discussion about what causes day, night, and the seasons. Students should understand that day and night are caused by the Earth's counterclockwise rotation on its axis every 24 hours. A year is caused by Earth's revolution around the sun. In the evaluate portion of this lesson, students will complete a formative assessment. Students will explain what causes the pattern of day and night. They will also develop a pictorial model of how the Earth moves over the course of a day and the year. Have students refer back to the scientific drawing rubric to assess their drawing. By the end of the lesson, students will have explained how the positions of the sun and the earth cause what we know as day and night. Additionally, they will have explained how the movement of earth causes what we know as a year.